Hello everybody, welcome back to Fruling episode 100. Yes, we're on episode 100. Never thought we'd get that high in this uh, series, but we are here. Probably uh, just a few more left. I did come down to our grapes to check on our pH, or excuse me, our nitrogen status, and we are perfect like we had last time. So we're actually not going to worry about spraying these, because that was one of the things that I was worried about that we were going to have to do before... These get harvested again. We may have mulch. Uh, we'll see how things go and what kind of time we have. Because I did plow in the previous episodes. And then, uh, yeah, I think we might have to mulch again. I'm not absolutely sure, but that is that. Uh, I also got the Kubota. I decided I wanted to use the Kubota more here. So I put the 7R away. We did have the 7R hooked up to the manure spreader. But I decided that... Wanted to get some more use out of the Kubota in this up, uh, series before we end it. Was our prize tractor that we gave ourselves for all the hard work that we did on the series. To grind this much and this, get as far as we did. It's nice to finally be here. And then we do have this prize tractor. This is one of my favorite tractors in the game actually. It was a DLC for those don't, that don't know. And it's uh, quite nice. It's the M6 Kubota. I took the arms off and put those in our yard back there. I'm going to do another coat here on our uh, big field. And uh, let's see where actually where the nitrogen gets us when we do this. We should be good. Yeah, we're just a little over actually. But we do need another one because we're a little low from our slurry. But we'll go ahead and get another layer on this. And also, I think we're going to advance to June after this. And I kind of want to tackle those new... Uh, well, we haven't bought them yet, but I'm going to buy those two new grass fields. And I think we'll go ahead and get those cut. I might just leave them as grass in the silo. Because um, it really doesn't pay to do anything else with it. We don't really need it. I know it's kind of a waste, but we, the goal was to farm every field on this series. And uh, there's two there. I think we have four yet to do. And then, actually, that'll be that'll be about it after that. And we gotta harvest this. I think we're gonna break the rule though on four. I think I did mention this in an earlier episode that we're just gonna harvest it. Originally, the the goal was harvest it once and do the planning and then harvest again. But that's gonna run us another year, and we're kind of ready to wind things down here in this series. So I can't do that. Otherwise, it would take us uh, a whole other year. So it'll probably be winding down about after we do the grape harvest, I would imagine would be our our last thing here, I think. And yeah, we'll be saying bye to this farm soon enough. Alright, just finishing up the last little triangle here. I want to get out and double check the ground here when we're done. Yeah, this also quits applying when you're over a spot you did already, which is kind of nice. Alright, we got some perfect spots. I did want to see this green area down here. Yeah, so we're, uh, actually it's pretty good. It says perfect, good. So not too bad at all. It's kind of nice to use up some of that manure that's been sitting there for quite a while. So I think what we'll do now 
So we get this put back, and I think we're gonna go ahead and, I wonder if this was the last time we are gonna use the spreader to, I guess it's no big deal. Park it away dirty, I guess. But I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna, going to advance into June, and then we'll go ahead and get those grass fields taken care of. And like I said, I think we're just gonna take the forge wagon and then throw them into our silo. And those will be two more fields we can check off our list. And like I said, it'll just be... We'll be waiting on four and uh, those other couple to harvest the big one there, 15 and 11 up on top. See, I can't use a Kubota. It's going to be too small. We'll probably use this 7R. Am I done with that sprayer? Yeah, I think I, we are because we were going to use it on 15, but we didn't have to do that because we plowed. So I think we'll get that put away as well because there's no reason for it to stay out here. I'm going to get that cleaned up so it'll be done for the series. Get things nice and neat before they're put away. Again, the precision farming. I don't, what's really interesting is I do see some YouTubers that don't use it a whole lot, but it's Precision farming, I think, is like way better than the base game, you know, two applications for uh, fertilization. Because you can actually, well, you got the mini map where you can see what you're doing. And then you have, well, you don't really have to apply as much, it seems like. So it saves on work. Alright, I think we could actually uh, close this shed door too because we're done with everything in this in this room here because we're done with the the lime thrower we're done with the sampler and we're we're done with the sprayer now for the series so let's go ahead and close that off I think we can actually get rid of no I might, might need that for rocks yet uh, we can always close it off whenever I guess uh, let's see let's get this set up for Uh, mowing grass and then we'll take a nap and then we'll buy those fields and we'll head on down there scrap in the back I never thought I'd be mowing again I guess but it's just those two fields left to do they actually shouldn't take that long I think that well that one is really small but the other one's a little bit bigger but I still don't think it'll take us that long you can actually go let's go a little bit earlier like seven o'clock we're getting a little probably won't be quite early enough to see the sunrise. All right, welcome to June. Got kind of a nice little smog over here. Ah, let's double check the sails if there's anything. Looks like we're good there. Uh, productions. We're just, actually, yeah, we're just running lettuce. I think we're pretty much caught up on everything. The only thing we have to worry about selling, I think, is the cheese, which will sell in... October and then of course our horses we're almost up to the 5,000 ooh they reproduced I was wondering if that was gonna happen I will we'll just let them ride but we we'll probably could sell those pretty soon too let's check our fields yeah so four here we're gonna have to buy that looks like I'll probably be ready next month that is wheat on there and that'll be the last field because we're going to tackle the two grass fields here. Today, we will have to harvest 11 and 15. And then a grapes, and that'll be it. Wow, that's pretty surreal. All right, let's buy these two grass fields down here. It's like one for 78,000. And the other small one for 22,000. All right, across the bridge we go. And here we are. Very small grass field. Shouldn't take us long to do it all. Let's make sure we got our swath drop here. Swathing drop. Fire it up. Looks good. Shouldn't take us that many passes. It's kind of interesting to have a small grass field like this or why the creators decided to do that. I suppose it's... How am I going to do this end with the forge wagon? Like this, maybe. 
but it's a nice small field. I mean, look at this. Probably what? One more pass, two more passes. Probably made for more so for building on this property. Which if we were going to expand, it would probably be kind of a nice spot to do it, but... Well, actually, it looks like we'd almost get the the rest of it here in one pass, almost. Well, it's not going to quite be there on the end, though. Uh, what's going on here? Alright, just finishing up the last little bit that, for whatever reason, the PTO on the back was shut off, so it wasn't cutting. But we got her. Get her folded up. Small field in the bag. Alright, now the other field is down below over here. We've gone by this one quite a bit, but we never actually took care of it. it looks like the sunflowers are coming up really nicely here. Those will be ready to harvest pretty soon. How is our yield on those, by the way? 125, yeah, so we're doing good. This was actually uh, sprayed, too. We came down and sprayed it. There was weeds on it, but still have a very nice yield on it. I think a lot of that is with the soil. Yeah, we did everything we could do. We mulched it. We rolled it. So very good to see that. Looks like the owner of that field kind of just abandoned that one. I don't know what the deal is with that. All right. So I think the entrance is over here. Kind of a nice little area here. It's a gate. It's going to be kind of tight getting in there, I think. That's why they got this here, so you can take it wide, I guess. Still have to back up, though. And they move outwards, so they ain't going to bother us when we cut it. Alright, so let's give this a shot. And we'll see how we do here. It's a decent sized field, it'll take us a little bit, I guess, but... Alright, let's rock and roll. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we had some technical difficulties there, I'm very sorry. I did go ahead and pick up those two grass fields and put those into the silo. Unfortunately, the, the video save got corrupted, so I was only able to keep half of that video. Um, OBS can do that sometimes, it is what it is, but we did get this cut, picked up, and then again down here on our small field, it's picked up as well. Uh, it is what it is, or I can't go really go back in time here. And then we also went ahead and sold those two fields. So that was a good harvest, put those into the silo. What do we have for that? We came out with uh, 84,000. That was pretty good. So what I want to do for the remaining of the episode, since we have more time now, is we're going to get down to... Actually, I think we need to advance... We're going to go to July, because our wheat will be ready. Alright, yeah, so 16,000 property income. Those wind, uh, renewable energies are definitely paid for themselves already. Yeah, I did also go ahead and spray it up, the wagon, uh, the forge wagon up here and put it away. So that's good for the rest of the series for that wagon. Uh, we do have the header we need to take down to field four. That should be ready to go. Yes, it is. So we'll go ahead and buy that. And then we'll go down there and get that harvested. On the next episode, our oats should be ready to go. Yeah, it's green. 
So let's go ahead and grab the Kubota, and we can take the header trailer down there. Shouldn't take us that long to cut. We're not going to do a swath dropping on that, because there's really no point. And then we'll just, uh, yeah, get it sold right away again. We'll go this way. This time, I've always gone the left way. Almost wonder if I should have bought four sooner in the series, you know? This is kind of like... Just a last quick... Where is the... Okay, the... The road for it's back there, so let's back that up a little bit. And go where we should go. It almost like seems like it would have been a no-brainer to... To get this field since it's basically directly across from our other ones, but yeah. This is definitely the last field we'll be doing. It hasn't... Probably would have made more sense to get it sooner. Grab the harvester here, and then we'll be able to wash these up too, because this is the last... No, excuse me. We still have two more harvests. And we need... Yeah, we'll be doing the corn harvester and the, the other one. Yeah, so... Never mind. As we start getting towards the end of these episodes, I'm starting to... Think about getting things done and... Still getting ahead of myself. Alright. Like a good spot for the header trailer. Got our nice entrance here, I guess. Okay, we want to turn off dropping. Okay, so it should be off. I must have shut that off last time we ran it. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, there's rocks on here and whatnot. What is the yield? 64 again. Kind of didn't expect any less. It seems like what we always usually get here. All right, so we're going to tackle this, and uh, we'll see you guys in a few minutes. Alright, we managed to fit it all on. It wasn't that big of a harvest, so we did oh, plenty of room to spare. Only 60%, so... Alright! I'll just throw this in the silo then. I think we can take the... header and... We could probably go ahead and run the harvester down to field 15 to... Or send it down on a worker. I got to dump this in the trailer though. I was sending the header down on a uh, worker can be an issue sometimes. If you can handle it. Should have had the header back a little bit more on that trailer, but we got it around. Alright, so. Let's back this up to our wagon then. Yeah, just a small tractor's fine. We got our vulture here. Let's grab that. Yeah, I definitely notice a frame rate drop with those horses. Before I wasn't absolutely sure, but now I definitely notice it. And all we did was add, what, four more animals? I oh, had such a hard time up here. Could probably actually sell those on the next episode. Maybe we'll check that out, see what they're worth. Come on now. Alright, let's move the harvester. Pipe was a little longer than I thought it was. Which is good, I guess, if you have a header on. Alright, let's check. 
Looks like they're at 4,744. I think they can still make it up to five, but I don't know if I really want to wait that long. We probably actually only have an episode or two left of this series. Uh, I've noticed in here too, our soybeans are ready to sell, so we could sell those at the supermarket. Probably should have did that a little bit sooner, but let's go ahead and take care of that. Let's get this piped in, folded up. Well, let's just park it. Uh, we'll park it down here in front of them. Pit, the Minerva pit. And then we can drive that down on the next episode. All right. What about that wheat? Yeah, that would sell in January. I don't think we're going to make it to that. Let's grab the... Soybeans. I think I actually have to come up for another load, too. It's not going to be... Oh, no. Actually, it all fits. All right. Perfect. So let's head on down to the supermarket, get these sold. Didn't even realize we had this a sale in the silo, but... It's always good to make a little extra money. <laughs> Not that we need it. Let's take a look at the sales, I guess, because we didn't even check that stuff lately. Not that I even need any... Would need anything. This would be... Oh, no, that's just this... Grain wagon. I was thinking it was a manure spreader. Guess we can go ahead and sell... Field four, we don't need that anymore. Be 7,000 back, what do we get for that? 30,000 plus an environmental score. All right, good to go there. Okay, so we're gonna leave it for today's episode right there. In the next episode, we'll tackle 15. Probably, oops, yellow van, watch out. Probably we'll sell the horses, I think. And then we'll just, I think after that, we'll just have the grapes. Oh no, we got field 11 with the sunflowers yet. So it could be a good couple, two, three episodes yet. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one.